How to use testrtc.org. So, if you want to get a kind of a glimpse of the issues that we, you have with using a browser in WebRTC, one way to do that is to go to test.webrtc.org. This is a Google implementation reference application of doing pre-call testing. We'll click the allow button here to allow for the microphone camera tests to run. If you received the link from uh, your vendor, then simply press start. If you're doing it on your own, you can open up here the settings to configure your turn and stun servers. We leave them as is today. We'll click the start button. What happens now, we're going to run a few tests around the microphone, the camera and the network connectivity and throughput. This will take somewhere between you know, one to two minutes. So let's wait and see what happens once we're done with the testing. Now that the test completed, we can look at the results. We see that everything went fine with the microphone, camera and throughput. If you want to see how a microphone fails, for example, try to keep silent while the microphone test takes place and you'll see a warning about low level of volume. In the network, there is a warning. I can open it up, check what that is. Well, we failed to gather IPv6 candidates. It might not be set up or supported on the network. Essentially, this means that we're not collecting these candidates through our turn and stun servers. In connectivity, there are issues with SRFLX. Nothing to be worried about, especially since this is only a warning. Once done, I can press this bug button and simply upload the results of the report or download them. Uploading them and downloading them does, them does the same thing. It creates a file. When I upload it, I can get it to that file through the link and receive the JSON dump for that. You can now share this file with your vendor and it will include, include all of the information that was taken throughout the tests. Thank you.